Okay. I haven't made a video in a long time. So, we're going to try this with my cell phone. What is this? Samsung Galaxy S2. So, I'm going to do a start from the beginning and show y'all just everything. It hasn't been cranked at all today, so it's nice and cold, even though it's 90 degrees outside, but y'all know what I mean by cold. Fourteen six. Got the Kenwood head unit echelon uh, KDC X seven ninety four. It's the one with the time alignment, USB, and all that. That's the reason why I got it. Good head unit. I like it. So let us see. There's my view. Well, there's my view. As I'm backing up, I can see absolutely nothing. But that's what side mirrors are for. There we go. Pull it out. We can get a bit, a little bit more light. All right. Turn the head unit off for a second. All right. Up the hood. Show you all the under hood battery and the two alternators. There are the two alternators. That's the factory alternator. That is the other one added in where the compressor was. Both of these are high output 220 amp alternators, but they are CS130s, the so small cases, so they're not that good. Um, yes, that's a Duralize Gold Lead Acid battery. That was the only battery I had until recently. So, now have additional batteries. Finally, I'll show you all those. Very smart, great beer need. Open the side door. So again, there's the box, there's the rear rear fill. Here is the battery box. Those are huge L brackets screwed into the box, screwed into here. Um, there's, and there are carriage bolts in there, so this box is not going anywhere, hopefully. There are our two alpha cells. Ground. There's four gauge, two runs of four gauge that link the batteries together. And here is the odd gauge that runs here. Now, try to explain this. These go to the front battery so each one has its own individual fuse then this battery box has a breaker that I can separate it from the front batteries and then I have one two three breakers for the system so now we're running on just the underhood battery and the alternators Flip this one now we have extra batteries run into. So again it's 12 Sirwin Vega 12s. The old school single voice coil 4 ohms are running at uh, 0.33 ohms each on a British you know, JBL 4 inch GTIs, Macintosh tweeters, uh, 2 inch speakers just for fun. That's the back. The front they're the same thing. There in the dash, the fours, Macintoshes, and then right there, more of those twos. Those are MTX 
soap film tweeters. There's a center channel. You can see the reflection. You can see my cracks in my windshield. And we also have an MTX Road Thunder 8 in the door. Open up the back doors. Show you guys. Again, there, well, if I get the sun out of the camera. There's the one, two, three, four Hyphonics Brutuses. That's something new that I'm very proud of. That's fun. There's a Sirwin Vega base turbocharger DB10C. It's just for fun. And again, there's the JBL Imaging Enhancer. More old school stuff. Maybe late 80s, at best early 90s. There is one MTX LSB1, if it would focus. I don't think it's going to. There's another LSB1. There are one, two, three Carver 15 band EQs. One for the front, one for the subs. Yes, just for the subs, even though those are the only bands that get EQ'd. And one for the rear, even though nothing is EQ'd. I have two 200 watt by two amps right there, two 50 watt by two amps there, and two 35 by four amps right there. So that's the rundown. Everything. Let me get this out of my face. I have no clue how this video is going to turn out. I may not even post it if I do. I'm sorry. So, let us turn on our head unit. I don't know if you heard the click. That click is from the big relays being made. I'm sure this will sound terrible. So, I'm just going to play a bass track and see if I can get anything flexing that this little camera will pick up. is much more steady now with those two batteries. So much so that I couldn't believe it.
that's it. Thank you.